Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel Excel Book. This tutorial is about another cool tool in MS Excel, which is Formula Auditing. But before we start, subscribe to our channel if you haven't and click on bell icon and never miss an update from us. So assume you have joined your first corporate job and your team leader send you this file and ask you to check the formula ratio in the file. You come across the formula of cell D23 for checking return on equity. Now you will proceed to check if the formula in the cell is correct or not. In this situation, the ideal way to proceed is to check two aspects of the formula. Firstly, if the formula is correct as per the standard ratio formula. For example, here return on equity is calculated by dividing net profit by total shareholders equity which is equity share capital plus reserve. Second aspect of this checking is formula auditing which can be defined as to check if the formula is linked correctly in the desired cell. Unable to meet these two aspects can lead you into getting fail as an analyst. In this session we are going to cover how you can use formula auditing tool to check the viability of cell linking. We will go under ribbon formula and click on trace precedent. After using the same, you will see on your screen a blue line and a dotted line followed by a sign mark. Shortcut for using the same is alt plus m plus p. Follow the blue line on the screen and check its originating point. Dotted line with a sign indicates that the linking is coming from another tab. If we click on the dotted line, you will see that the tab has opened at your screen, which is go to table. In this go to table, click on the link and press OK. We will go to the cell where the data is linked from. Also, if we put our cursor back in D23 and click on trace precedent, you will see dotted lines appearing with a sign mark indicating their links which is coming from another tab. We can repeat this process as per our requirement or till we find the ultimate source value. Once we have made these drawings with trace precedent line, how do we remove the same? Simply click on remove arrows or shortcut Alt plus M plus A plus A. Moving on, completely opposite to trace precedent is trace dependent. Let's use the same. If we come to cell E4 and click on trace dependent, it shows that this cell is linked to other cells in the workbook. For here, data in this cell's value is getting linked in cell D6, which is further getting linked in cell D19. And this cell value is also getting linked in cell J23 and J24. Shortcut for the same is Alt plus M plus D. You can click on trace dependent again to check the dependence dependent. Again, to remove the arrow, we will click on remove arrow or shortcut alt m plus a plus a. Next in formula auditing is show formulas. Clicking on the same will expand cell values to the formula inserted in the same. Shortcut for the same is control plus tilt sign. This is quite useful. When clicked, you can see a formula and the formula's precedent cell will be displayed in different color border. Also, you can check if there is any hard code data among the formula. Sometimes in a financial model, we have to copy a formula to another cell but without removing the hard code values and keeping them intact. Pasting the same with formula while show formula is on is quite helpful during this process. Next is error checking. It has three options. First is error checking. Here on the screen, we can see a table. On the screen, we can see error details and the description of type of errors. Then there are some buttons on the screen such as help on this error. When this button is clicked, it takes us to Microsoft Office support where you can read in detail about the error. The second button displays two options which changes accordingly. First is trace error and second option is show calculation steps. The first option trace error 
appears on the screen when a formula is linked with other cells that contains error. Trace error shows up the trace precedent and trace dependent lines in the tab which are directly linked to the error. The next option is show calculation steps. This option is displayed when the calculation linking with other formula has mathematical error and not an Excel error. Clicking on the same will evaluate the formula and you will see underlined cell values. Next button is ignore the error which will ignore this error and move us to the next error. Next is edit in formula bar where your cursor is moved to formula bar where you can edit the formula. Afterward, there is a button for previous and next to navigate to the next or previous errors in the sheet. The next option in error checking is trace error. For this function to work, your cursor should be in a cell where there is an error. This will open trace precedent lines. Red line will appear if the precedent line has an error in it. And the third option is circular reference. This will not be visible if there is no circular reference in your workbook. What is circular reference? Circular reference is when a cell value is trying to calculate itself. Usually when you have circular reference, you can see a message at the lower left hand side on the screen. Though to understand the linking of the circular reference, you need to go to error checking. Go to circular reference and we can see value of cell N15 is linked to tab data sheet cell D8 and cell D8 of tab data sheet is linked back to cell N15 of profit and loss. After identifying the circular reference in the workbook, we can successfully remove the same. We are going to make a complete tutorial on circular reference and how to remove it in coming days. And the last tool in formula auditing is watch window. Sometimes while working in a tab, you need to keep a constant eye on a cell value of other tab. In doing the same, you have to juggle between one tab and another. That's where watch window comes into picture. So what is the cell value you want to keep an eye? Let's say for example, it's current price in data sheet, which is current price and will be changing from time to time. And we need to keep an eye on the same. Click on watch window watch window box will appear on your screen. Now click on add and select the cell you want to watch and add the same to the watch window screen. Now if we move anywhere in the workbook, we will see the watch window on screen which will display cell value and its other details. Also if you move your watch window just above formula bar, you can see that it will adjust itself to the panel there and the value will be in front of you the whole time. To remove the same, click on the same and press delete. The same will disappear from your screen. So that's it in today's session for formula auditing. If you find this session interesting and knowledgeable, then like this video, subscribe to our channel. And if you have any query, then write the same in comment section below. Thanks for watching.